Yo, what up? Hold on, let me take this shit off. It's Sam Moses. So, during meditation, my ancestors, the most lovely energies in life and existence, communicated to me that I need to use what is called the fearless beast inside me. And we all are related. I don't give a fuck if you think you're from Africa. I don't give a fuck if you think Native Americans didn't come from Africa, which they did. Sorry. I don't care if you think you're white, Asian, whatever. Whatever you think you are. We all have a fearless beast inside us. And we have to tap into that. Stop acting like a bitch. Just don't be scared. Put the rubber on that, okay? We need to understand that where we connect, where all humans connect, is with our pain with our love, and you cannot tap into love, you cannot tap into that reservoir of love that's going to keep you immortal without tapping into that fearless beast, that primal energy, that primordial soup that we all have running through our veins, running through us like a strong river, okay, that's where the gold is, you don't have to tap in and use the fearless beast at all times, no, I would not recommend that. But you do have to acknowledge and respect that fearless beast that you have inside of you, okay? This is where your sexuality comes from. This is where your bluntness comes from. This is what makes you you. No, is it the shadow? No, it's not the shadow. It's something very different. It does not have a specific location. It is you. It's you. You just have to know how to use it. Is it a symbiotic relationship? Is it a parasitic relationship? Is it a... Is it a is it a synergetic relationship? It's you. You have to learn what this fearless beast is and how it contributes to your success, to your life. Success is built off of success. Why do I call my girlfriend, my wife, Diamond? Because it's my perception that the, the human mind has many sides like a diamond, just like God. You know, if you're watching this nine times out of ten, you believe in God. If you don't, that's fine. But we are all extensions of God. That's my theory. We are all cells of one being, right? And God is a diamond. That's why I call my woman Diamond. That's her nickname because she's a goddess in my eyes, you know? So we have to tap in to that part of our all diamond and understand this fearless beast is not to be feared, bro. The more you fear, the more that you're not here, okay? The lower you go, the lower you know. So we have to understand that your instincts, right? Your intuition, your spirit, your soul, the pieces of you that make you black out, the pieces of you that don't understand, that don't perceive what is going on is exactly what you need to be tapping into, okay? People say, I don't judge. I don't, nigga, you don't judge? Are you fucking stupid? That's why you have emotions, G. So you could judge. Emotions, fear, love, hate, happiness, sadness, all of that is to keep you protected. Your emotions, this is why I love women so much. A woman's job is to, is to, is to filter what is safe and acceptable and what is not safe and acceptable on the internal level. Okay, we have a negative connotation with the word negative. Okay, women are negative ion based people. Death is a negative ion based uh, concept, right? Life, the material is positive. Negativity is black. Positivity is white, which is why they put a negative connotation on the word negative because niggas is black. And we're the most powerful people in the world. All right, now let's go back to that, what I was talking the fearless beast part, right? So women are emotional, which is why they're so beautiful, okay? When you tap into your emotion, you have power. You have the power to understand what is safe and what is not safe. You cannot think when you're emotional. Rationality, logic, and emotions, they just don't mix, bro. This is where we get the word creativity from. Creativity means forming a union between left brain and right brain thinking. Positive and negative, women and men, white and black, right? When you tap into that fearless beast, 
which is a feminine based type of energy you have to understand there are things that are going to go on that you might not necessarily approve of but if you are actually one with the self then you shouldn't have any problems if you're familiar with dragon ball z super dragon ball super the ultra instinct that's what i'm talking about it's called non-thought in the eastern world the eastern concept is called non-thought but I just want you guys to to understand that when people judge you, this is based off their feminine energy. When people are trying to fucking love you, stop acting like a bitch, bitch. When I tell my brother, bro, I think you need to seek therapy. I think you have mental health issues, my nigga. That's my fearless beast. That's me telling you I love you. When I fuck the shit out of whoever I want to fuck the shit out of, that's the fearless beast. When I'm smoking a cigarette... That's the fearless beast. When I drink this 40, that's the fearless beast. When I say whatever the fuck I want to say because I don't give a fuck about none of you niggas, that's the fearless beast. Stop running from it, bro. Why don't you... Aaron Moses, is he cheating on me? Aaron Moses, what should I do for my next career? Aaron Moses... Shut the fuck! That's the... Shut up! Use your fearless beast. Use it. It's not going to hurt. If you can't control yourself, then don't. No, no. Go to church, nigga, give 10%, don't be gay, don't do none of that. That's why I respect gay people so much, bro. Do you know how hard it is for some of these people to be gay, bro? Niggas get beat up and get killed for being gay and transsexual. And you want to complain about your motherfucking job, weak ass bitch? Fearless beast. Being a homosexual man is one of the masculine, the most masculine things you could do. To be honest, TBH, because nigga, if 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 you're a man, right, and you go suck another nigga's dick, do you know niggas will kill you for that, bro? Masculinity is about expression. It's about look, boom. It's about concentrating your energy in one ball and putting it in one direction. Are you serious, nigga? You have to be whatever you want to do, bro. Whatever you want to do, you have to take that energy. And you have to press it forward. Femininity is about receiving. Women are in danger like a motherfucker. Black women, nobody nobody protects black women, bro. Black women are the most valuable endangered species on this planet, bro. And nobody does shit to protect black women, period. Number one, black woman, I love you. I love you more than a lot, okay? More than a lot. Femininity, feminism is not an African, that's a Eurocentric, gynocentric, unhealthy concept for black women, bro. Facts. You Google it, I said it, now you got to embed it. Okay, femininity is amazing, but feminism is not created to protect black women, bro. We all need to understand this fearless beast. We all need to understand and go very deep. What you want to do is not going to kill you. It's not going to do that. If you want to breathe air without a fucking mask, fuck that goddamn mask. I don't have on a mask. I mean, I'm in my own house, but still. Relax. Relax yourself into that state where you can use yourself to the highest degree, to the highest vibration. And you cannot do that with acknowledging every little mother... Fuck that shit. Fuck it. You're not going to die. I promise. If you really don't want to die, you're not. There's sciences and concepts that will protect you from the element of death. Death is a program. It's not definite. It doesn't, if you don't want to die, you don't have to, okay? But the only way that you're going to get everything that you want out of life is to stop acting like a pequeño Puto, okay? Don't be a little bitch, okay? You're not going to be here. This vessel is sexy, yeah, but it's not going to be here for the rest of my life. My life, me, I, my soul, it's always going to be here forever, 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 forever. Yes, nigga, forever, ever. All right? So relax. The first step is relaxing. The second step 
is to understand when you have actually tapped into this fearless beast. And the third step is to understand that there is no core to this fearless beast. It is always here and it's never going to leave you. All right. I'm high. You want me to tell you a little story real quick? This is very irrelevant. I just uh, I just want to tell you guys this. So I called my weed man, right? And I told him to meet me where we usually do our transactions. And uh, I guess he misunderstood what I was saying. And he told me that he wasn't at the spot. And there was a homeless guy outside. And uh, he walked up to me. He said something about weed. And I had these these big ass headphones on. So I couldn't hear exactly what he was saying. But I went in this. I told him I was going to go get changed. He showed me something. He showed me a bag because he's homeless. And I went in the store and I got changed and I came out. Now, I was going to break my money by buying a pack of cigarettes. Pack of cigarettes in where I live is about $9. So I gave the nigga my money. This nigga gave me back $40 and a pack of cigarettes. And I came outside and I was standing next to the homeless nigga. And uh, we were just looking real awkward. And I was like, so uh, you got that? And I showed him the money. And he was like, oh, I thought you were trying to sell me some bud. And I was like, no, nigga. I asked you if you knew where to get bud. But um, anyway, that happened. So I just got $40 free dollars and a pack of cigarettes. And um, it all came because I was telling my, my brother that I think he needs to seek professional help because he has, you know, in my opinion, because, you know, real recognize real. I think the nigga had health issues. So, oh, look at this bitch. I love you, baby, but I can't talk to you right now. So, I thought, I mean, you know, I look up to, this is my big brother, though. You know, I look up to the nigga, and I love this nigga, like, with my, with my core, you know? And he is not going to, he he doesn't want to get professional help, bro. Um, And I love him, bro. If you're watching this, I love you, my nigga. But um, when somebody tries to help you and somebody tries to give you advice, and you've been down that path that I've been down, nigga, I'm crazy. I have mental health issues. And if I think you have mental health issues, there's a 1,000% chance you have mental health issues. And it just hurt me to see how fearful this nigga was, bro. And if I give you love and you return it with fear and hate, like, nigga, that's pussy. Like, you need, you, we, we got to heal each other. We have to love each other. We have to touch each other. We have to make it acceptable to tell somebody that we love them. We have to make it, make telling somebody you know, that we love them, you know, legal, bro, make it acceptable, I think, I think the best thing that you could do for somebody is, uh, is to teach them, is to touch their souls, because you don't know what people are going through, I haven't been hugged in almost a year, god damn, you know, I need a hug, you know, I need people to do things that are more natural than not, but I don't have that. And it's fine. Okay. So what I want you to do is. I want you to prepare yourself. For the solstice. I want you to set 10 goals. I want you to post. Your goals in your mind. And I want you to keep that very clear. I want you to have candles. You don't have to burn them. Just keep them. Love your candles. Love yourself. And understand that you are not this body. I know you're beautiful. I know you're sexy. I know you got some good pulses. But you need to understand your soul. You need to understand that when you say I, you are nine times out of ten not saying the same I that I'm saying when I say I. All right. It's Aaron Moses. Life is in the breath. I love you. I love you. 110% I do. I face.